With an FC TV with Chris Agata following today's defeat at Chesham in the National League South. Aggie, your thoughts on that one? Uh, we, we said after the Slough game, it was a really good advert for National League South. Today is the other extreme of that. That is the worst game of football I've ever been involved in. Um, and you know, we we played our part in it, but my God, it was uh, that's two hours of my life I'm never getting back. So it's uh, yeah, like yeah, it's a horrendous game of football. Um, both teams playing their part, match officials playing their part. Um, yeah, as I said, genuinely two hours we're never getting back. It was you know I, I can only apologise for everyone that paid to watch that because uh, I would want my money back. It was horrendous. Wow, um, <laughs> I don't know what, where to go from that. Um, but it was, wasn't it? It, it, it? Like it, I just we knew before the game, you know what they do and. And there's loads of different ways to win games of football. Like, that's not, it's not about that, but oh, like the referee just got worked. Like, no surprise, we got a red card against us. Um, we we warned the group before the game. And, you know, the, ref, the referees just like he who shouts loudest, and they're very good at that. They get around the ref, and you know they they, they put him under pressure and they scream for everything. And I mean, I've got a pounding headache, and it's just from from uh, listening to the screams and the shouting from um, you know, the dugout. So it's, uh, no, it's just frustrating because we got involved in their game. Um, they're experienced, they've obviously been around the block. And uh, yeah, we just got involved in, in their game of football and it led to that eyesore today. You touched on the red card, I have to ask. What was your view on it? Uh, he won the ball, didn't he? Won the, like he's won the ball and um, it's the reaction that gets him sent off but you know the the match officials have got to be um, strong enough to to ignore the noise and you know, like, their lad's rolling around like he's uh, been shot which is fine I, I get it it's all part and parcel of the game and you know as I said it's um you know, there's more than one way to skin a cat. Um, but miraculously, he got up pretty sharpish. Once the red carp was out, so... You know, I hope he's all right, though. Um, he seemed all right, and I think he played the rest of the game, didn't he? So, but yeah, it's just... It just just typified a, a horrendous game of football. As I said, like, the Slough game the other week, two teams attacking front foot, aggressive, having a go at each other. You know, you think... This is exciting. Like we're giving the supporters their money's worth. Avely on uh, Tuesday night, like having a go and again aggressive on front foot and a bit of back and forth for us today. It was just, it was just the game was slow. It was, and again we were, we were also at fault um, because as I said we got dragged into their game of football and they've set up in a bit of a block and we've been too slow moving side to side. Ollie Black taking 85 touches every time he gets the ball along the back line. Like slow, slow. So you need to switch play, and we, we didn't switch play enough. And you just allow them to get set in behind the ball, and yeah, it's just a, as I said, just a horrendous game of football that uh, I'm very pleased to see the back of. Looking ahead then, um, on to Chichester next week in the FA Trophy, another break away from league action. Yep. Um, I guess just looking forward to, to going back. On with your, with your football, I guess, to, yeah, to yeah, come yeah. away from this. Yeah, 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 definitely. I get put this game to bed. I mean, we just said to the players there, if, if we can, if we can replicate the last four weeks um, repeatedly, then you know, we'll we'll be there or thereabouts. I, I mean, I think we're we're still three points off top because of results and stuff like that. We're still in the playoffs. It's um, it's certainly not the end of the world. Um, yeah, it's just, as I said, I'm not going to be too critical of the players because they've been fantastic the last six weeks, um, especially. Um, and they've put an awful lot of points on board. And even today, when we went down to 10 men, we were still having a go, being aggressive on the front foot. They're still sitting in a block, even though they're an extra player. It's like, right. As I said, there's more than, more than one way to skin a cat. But, um, yeah, I, 
I was proud in terms of the players' second half because they kept going. They kept like the quality wasn't wasn't there at all, but we kept trying to have a go, kept trying to be aggressive, and uh, albeit it was yeah, definitely wasn't um, a great watch. We you know we still played with our mentality on the front foot, trying to make things happen. Um, so I'm. All in all, it's just a case of, like you said, put it to bed. Can we can we go on another run? Because um, if we do, we'll you know we'll we'll keep uh, competing at the top end of the table, which is obviously the aim. Um, and even today, as, as bad a game of football as that was, we still missed some great chances, um, which is disappointing. But uh, I just look forward now to the next game when we play Cheshire. That's what I look forward to. I look forward to them coming to Woodside. Um, that's my feeling straight away. Um, I look forward to putting this game behind us into Chichester and the FA Trophy where we'd expect a reaction. It's a competition we obviously want to go deep into. Um, and then, yeah, I'm, the first thing I'm going to do is after this, I'm going to look at the return game against Chichester. Uh, I'm going to look forward to that. So, because um, there's a lot of learning to take from today and the, the players will be stronger for it. And uh, we certainly won't get dragged into that type of game again, that's for sure. Thanks, Aggie. Just Jack.